Hi there, my name is Mark Loinez. I'm the Vice President of R&D for the Phi team in Cadence's uh, Silicon Solutions Group. Hi, I'm Anoop. I'm a Design Engineering Director with Cadence. I work, work on the electrical validation side of things. And okay, we're going to go, we're actually going to show you our PCIe Gen 7 demo. And yeah, Anoop, can you take us through it? Hello. Yeah, thanks, Mark. So this is our uh, evaluation board with our PCI Gen 7 compliant DUT with a built-in Gen 7 controller embedded in the design, right? So we have hooked up the transmitter outputs of the DUT to the 70 gigahertz real-time scope from Tectonics, right? And we are demonstrating at speed 128 Gbps PAM for I uh, on it's the real-time scope. Real -time it's, a real -time it's a real-time scope. It's a real-time scope, and we can see wide open eyes here. Bear in mind, while the hardware is fully PCI Gen 7 compliant. The Gen 7 software is yet under development. Uh, I mean, right now we are using Gen 6 CDR settings for this iPlot, which means we are a little bit pessimistic in terms of how much jitter we pass into the output. So we only expect it to get better once a fully fledged Gen 7 compliant app is out. Okay. Yeah, and the test chip is, a, we just got the test, test chip back um, uh, in silicon. Um, this is our first dedicated PCIe Gen 7 test chip. Um, we're showing transmitter results now, and we're gonna follow up uh, over the next uh, weeks and months with their receiver JTOL uh, measurements and system testing measurements because we have, we have a controller integrated uh, with the Phi on the test chip. For more information, please go to cadence.com. Hello, my name is Rajiv Jain, Solution Architect at Cadence. Okay, what we're going to show here is our PCIe Gen 7 test chip down here um, running as, a, as an optical link. Okay. Yes, so on this demonstration, what we have is a Cadence uh, PCIe Gen 7 Phi connected to linear pluggable optics uh, electrically. And on the pluggable optics, we have optical fiber uh, DR8 in a loop back uh, fashion. What we are sending is PRBS 31 pattern across this serial link on the system. And we are able to achieve 2E minus 8 prefect VR, which is excellent for the system link performance. Yes, and then just to be clear, the, the, the linear pluggable optics means that there's no retimer inside the optical module, right? Yes, this is with the equalization capability of the five. Yes. Yeah. For more information, go to cadence.com.